are some of the most batshit crazy comments I received from Kanye West fans on TikTok. Kanye had a lot of good things to say about uh, Nazis and Hitler. He is really into them. Which is interesting because I'm not sure he's aware that they are not into him at all. While Kanye was riding the Fuhrer's dick, he claimed that Adolf Hitler invented the highway and the microphone. The highway thing is a common myth. It's used by a lot of people to claim that the Fuhrer also did great things for Germany and blah, blah, blah. The microphone thing, I don't know where the fuck he got that from. This is the first time I heard that. Both of them are not true. And I made the mistake of correcting Kanye and my video uh, got like 2 million views. And with that came a lot of input from Kanye's fans. And now we're gonna answer the most batshit crazy ones, and there is a lot of batshit crazy in here. Hitler did not know about the Holocaust. Chill. Really? I think he knew at some point. Hitler did not come up with the final solution. Um, that's true. Can you believe that? Not only did Adolf Hitler not invent highways or microphones, he didn't even invent the Holocaust. But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure he knew. Everyone knew at some point. There was just too much smoke. You can't forever be like, oh, what is all the smoke? What, are they electing a new pope? Bro really knows more than Ye, the multi-millionaire who actually has a say in the convo, unlike you, dumbass. Yeah, he used to be a billionaire, I heard. What happened there? And having a lot of money doesn't make you know things. And I don't think your financial status should matter when it comes to a conversation like that. I don't think it makes your opinion more valuable. It might give you better access to certain information, but I think Kanye is the living proof that it doesn't matter how much money you have, you can still be dumb as shit. Devil Jew shit, all right, yeah, whatever. He made cars for all his... <laughs> he made cars for all his folks made a lot of investment in a lot of concepts and some vegan shit. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like the plot of Entourage. <laughs> I bought cars for all my friends. <laughs> Volkswagen for the bros and some vegan shit. There's been a, a few comments claiming that Hitler's vegan. Hitler was not vegan. In the 1930s, nobody was vegan. Hitler was vegetarian for the last three years of his life. So another myth, but you know, you laugh, you learn. Are we sure this is Kanye? If you listen to his voice very close, it kind of doesn't sound like him. <gasps> Oy vey, but if that's not Kanye, who is it? Yeah, we know who it is. It's the fucking, just looking at the shape of the head, this is obviously Howard Stern. Sneaky. Kanye is based, hail Kanye from a uh, user black trad wife. Black people who like Hitler as if he liked them back is my new favorite genre of stupid. You're in the gas chamber with us. Black people or, or Arabs uh, start praising Hitler. It's, are you that stupid? You're sucking Nazi dick for nothing. Be my soap and shut the fuck up. Yeah, so some people decided to call me, to insult me as a piece of soap. What they meant by that is that some Jews were turned into soap during the Holocaust. Uh, first of all, rude. Second of all, again, false. There was never any evidence that the Nazis actually turned people into soap. Since the Nazis considered certain people to be filthy, Turning them into soap is kind of off-brand. They did find traces of human skin in lampshades. So, you know, next time you want to insult the Jew, try and be accurate. Hitler only helped Germany from a crisis after World War I. And in case you don't know, he didn't come up with gas and Jews. That's a valid point. I think Jews came up with Jews. He just helped Germany a lot. People liked him and he made big progress generally. Hitler did not help Germany. Have you seen Germany after Hitler was done with it? Have you seen it? <laughs> this is crazy. People did like him. Oh, this is a great one. God says to love everybody. If you believe in God, you should definitely love Hitler too. Yeah, you think God was happy with Hitler's work? You think the guy that created all the people welcomed Hitler? In, in heaven was like, oh man, thank you so much. I, they were being dicks. I wanted to get rid of them. I couldn't. Thank you so much for helping me out with that. I don't think God loves Hitler. And if he does, I don't think you should love God. You should inhale some gas. Buddy, uh, 
I'm an Israeli in Germany. This is not my first rodeo. I'm not impressed. There's nothing in here left. You can't hurt me. But Hitler invented Volkswagen, Fanta, and way more. Hitler did not invent any of those things, okay? He supported the project of Volkswagen, that is true. And uh, Fanta was invented by the German head of Coca-Cola at that time because the American Coca-Cola would not deliver um, the syrup to Germany. But I like that that's... <laughs> yeah, he killed a few million people, but Fanta... Fanta is pretty great. Almost makes the Holocaust worth it, right? I feel like he's showing the old souls some love because he wants to show them there is a chance to repent. There is a bigger message here. First of all, I've never heard someone referring to Adolf Hitler as an old soul. Old soul is what middle-aged men call their 20-year-old girlfriend to justify it in front of their adult friends. That's probably what uh, Hitler uh, called Eva Braun because he started dating her. Uh, when she was 17 and he was 40. Adolf Hitler is basically the 1930s Leonardo DiCaprio. Kanye is right. There was so much good in him. I don't think Hitler was ready to repent. He literally preferred to kill himself. Shachak, you learned on English we see. I don't know what that means. In Germany, we know Hitler invented highway. Hitler invented the highway so much. <laughs> you are a sheep. <laughs> He invented it so much. Hitler invented the shit out of the highway. Maserati diesel. <laughs> it's the shittiest way to drive a Maserati. <laughs> Take your fucking Maserati diesel and drive that on the Autobahn. And yeah, fucking <laughs> yourself. During World War II, Hitler pushed a lot of scientists to work extra hours too. It is evil, I know, but we wouldn't be here with technology if it wasn't for him. You think that's the evil thing? You think extra work hours was the worst thing Hitler did? I mean, Hitler killed a lot of people, but those extra work hours, god damn it. Hitler was a real Elon Musk. For World War II, we hear only about Jews being killed, but not for other nations. You know why? Because they didn't own media in Hollywood. The winner writes the books. You think Jews won World War II? If we won World War II, I want Japan. Either that is bullshit or I'm getting a piece of Mount Fuji. And also on a more serious note, there's a lot of documentation and information about the prosecution of homosexuals, of uh, various people of color, of Slavs by the Nazis. This is all out there. Just because you are ignorant doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Who says Hitler wasn't right about all things? Everything Kanye says, Hitler wanted to prevent the systems we have today. But stupid people will remain stupid. Yeah, I see your point. Hitler wanted to prevent the systems we have today. Part of said systems is a black man being able to say whatever he wishes on the internet. If one thing's for sure is that Hitler would have prevented Kanye. But hey, <laughs> stupid people will remain stupid. It's not important who invented a wheel without someone who made it spin it was just a random rock. <laughs> you fucking, you stupid fucking shit. The whole point of a wheel is that it spins by itself. You don't need anybody to spin it. I don't know what to say to this. This is so dumb. This is, can you please, please do me a favor. Take your router. The router is the thing that beeps and gives you internet and fucking throw it in the river. You're not ready to be on the internet. Listen, Kanye, he's not going to watch this, but listen, I'm sorry you got fucked over by a few people who happen to also be Jewish. Uh, you know who else gets constantly fucked over by Jews? Other Jews. We're, we have a culture of fucking everybody over all the time, okay? So stop whining about us and start whining with us. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to change their minds about anything here. We're past this point, but you know, at least we can laugh about it a little bit. Yeah, follow me for stuff. Not for this. I'm never doing this again, but, uh, but follow me for uh, comedy.